In this film, we are going to discuss quite frankly the things that are normal and to be expected in the development of children in relation to sex. Some of you may become somewhat uncomfortable as parts of this film unfold, but I think if you listen carefully, you will agree that the concepts will contribute to the rearing of a mature person who has a healthy, responsible attitude toward the sexual side of his life. Biologically speaking, it's of primary importance that man should want to mate. Hey, that's what you are! Biologically, biologically, biologically. Tammy, don't do that! Honey, that's nasty. You know better than that. Shame, that's nasty. You know better than that. Oh, honey, you make me so ashamed of you. They keep delaying and delaying until the child senses that this subject is not acceptable and turns elsewhere for information, which proves to be misinformation. That Mike, he's sure filling out. No matter how old the child may be, you can always backtrack. But for the moment, let us assume that you're one of those lucky ones who can begin at the beginning. I know that the baby grows inside you. That's where Johnny was. But he seems so big. What I wonder is, how does he get out of there? Your belly button? It's too small. Mary, the baby doesn't come out of your navel. Let me tell you how it is. Have a seat. I brought some charts. There's a special opening just in front of the place where you have your BM. It's very, very tiny in a little girl, but as you grow, it grows too, right along with the rest of you. It's arranged something like this. The vagina, the uterus, or womb, a pair of tubes, and two ovaries. Now, when you're grown up, it gets to be just about this size. Every so often, I get a strong sex urge, and the only way I can take care of it is to masturbate. I don't even know at what age to start. When should I begin? Once a normal, voluptuously beautiful woman. This? Oh? She drove into a nightmare of horror and saw descending from the sky a titanic monster whose fearsome touch became a frightful curse. Yeah, sort of a sticky stuff. It stretches up to be about this size. Some tried to live with it. Some screamed at it. Some fought against it. Just big enough for the baby to slip through head first. Then after the baby's born, it goes back to its regular size. Something else. How did the baby get started in there? The special opening that little girls have, the one I told you about, has a name, the vagina. Now you know that little boys like our Johnny have a penis. What she saw was beyond belief until others too faced its hideous, uncontrollable menace. Hey, Coach, didn't you say it was glands that made guys different? Yeah, that's right. Here. Maybe a diagram will help. Here's the penis and the scrotum that holds the testicles or testes inside. But how does it get out from the testicles? Hey, you know something? No, what? I had a wet dream last night. What dream? What's that? An ejaculation. But how's it get there? You know, not just the sperm and egg stuff. I mean, well, what really happens? Oh, what you want to know about is sexual intercourse. Well, that happens like this. Here. 
Surprising as it may seem in our sex-geared culture, there's no question in this youngster's mind about the presence of a young lady in the household. She's satisfied for now and perhaps even a little bored. The important thing is that she knows she can come back for further information whenever she wishes. A healthy, happy sex life can be one of the most wonderful and exciting parts of a good marriage. I'm worried about Jimmy. He's out later than usual. Oh, don't worry, Mother. He's just out having a little innocent fun. Oh, let's go to bed. <laughs>